Hi, we're so glad you joined us for today's class. This is the final class of four classes on healthy relationships. And today's topic is communication and connection. Our good friends, Rick and Brenda Lawrence of Encounter Marriage Ministry, have some great insight on communication. We'll learn from them that communication is the vehicle to the destination to connection. Communication is the vehicle. Boundaries that we talked about in the last class is the map keeping us on the right track. And agape love from the class before that is the gas that will take us to the destination of connection and healthy relationships. Believing that relationship will just magically happen, <laughs> be okay, and everything will work out without learning healthy ways to relate and how to communicate effectively, it's just plain ignorance. Mm -hmm. Healthy communication is hard work. Mm -hmm. A vulnerable, honest conversation requires as much energy from your mind and heart mm -hmm. as a tough session at the gym requires from your body. Oh, yeah. It's important to learn to do the difficult work of managing ourselves in the presence of others, which includes learning to connect and communicate well. Mm -hmm. Growing pains are real, and they don't just apply to physical growth. Whenever we are stretching to grow in any area, including and especially in relationships, there will be a struggle and pain. I grew up in Honduras and I only went to fourth grade. And um, so when we met with, with Susan, uh, we started working in ministry and business together. So mm -hmm. we will sit down to meet and make plans. And I had trouble staying focused. <laughs> yeah, after like 20 minutes, his eyes would start to glaze over and I knew he was done. Stick a fork and then he's done. <laughs> Trust me, it, it is real. It, it was like torture, but over time, I, I grew and developed my capacity to lead. Yes, and you've overcome many limited ways of thinking and expanded your capacity greatly by stretching yourself yeah. to grow. And you can read more about that in his book titled, I Cried, Dear God, Help Me. And he did. Good book. <laughs> Communication goes way beyond words. We thought some about that in the class common union. Mm -hmm. Our silence, body languages, eyes, and tone all communicate non-verbally. There's a little variance, but the consensus is that communication is more than 90% non-verbal. That's a lot. Some say 92, 93, 99, but there's no That's doubt true. most of our communication is non-verbal. Often our attitude, actions, and no verbal language can override what we are saying with our words. What is said verbally is not always what is meant to be communicated. Mm. What is said verbally is not always what is meant to be communicated. Mm -hmm. You can read more in depth about that in the PDF. We just want to be sure and point out now that there are two levels of communication going on at the same time, verbal or overt and nonverbal or covert, and they aren't always saying the same thing. At the covert level, what is really intended to be communicated is not say with words. Susan uh, sometimes uh, she asked me if I want to take a nap, <laughs> but taking a nap can doesn't really mean, mean I'm more tired. <laughs> <laughs> she means something different. <laughs> or if I tell my daughter the clothes are dry in hopes that she will fold them and put them away. I haven't expressed what I truly meant. Mm -hmm. And this gives her the opportunity to reply, yes, they are, mm -hmm. with no intention of folding and putting them away. I shouldn't get mad at her for not fulfilling my wishes because I wasn't clear in my communication. Correct. When we communicate, we need to be aware of what's going on at the covert level, both in uh, ourselves and in others. And if we need to ask questions to clarify exactly what is being said, well, we need to ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes covert messages are hidden in sarcasm, in cruel jokes, or even compliments with nonverbal attitudes or actions like <laughs> and a laugh or mm -hmm. an eye roll. Learn to be authentic and brave to speak truth in a clear, overt messages through healthy communication and clarify when you aren't sure what somebody means. Ephesians 4.29 instructs us to let no foul uh, or polluting language nor evil word nor unwholesome or worthless talk ever come out of your mouth, but only mm -hmm. such speech as is good and beneficial to the spiritual progress of others, as is fitting to the need and the occasion 
that it may be a blessing and give grace, God's favors, to those who hear it. And Proverbs 16, 21 says, Winsome speech increases learning in both the speaker and the listener. Communication is the lifeblood of every relationship. And it is the vehicle to connection. When open, clear, sensitive communication takes place, the relationship is nurtured mm -hmm. and can grow strong and uh, in maturity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Join us in the next portion where we'll talk about some obstacles to healthy communication and connection. Mm -hmm.